Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss Litcode question 879 that says profitable scheme. So guys, this question is a bit difficult to understand at a first sight, but we will take multiple examples and multiple test cases uh, so that you guys have clear understanding of what this question is trying to tell. So uh, continuing with the question understanding part, you hear you are given some crimes. Now a crime consists of two things. It consists of uh, people, it requires a number of person or people it requires and a crime has some profit associated with with that okay so crime has two things number of people it uh, it is required to perform that crime and it has some profit associated with it okay so here this group array and this profit array tells what the ith ith uh, index of the group array tells to perform the ith cri crime you need this number of person and you will earn this much of profit so let's say i value is zero so for uh, the crime where present at the zeroth index you require uh people uh, that means two people people is two and profit uh, you will earn is two as you can see for the zeroth index group and zeroth index profit so if i equal to one that means uh, you if you want to perform a crime at the index one for that you require two person and for that you will earn three uh, profit of three okay so guys uh, we have to return the number of schemes or number of uh, subsets you can say that can be chosen from the given number of crimes right the number of ways uh, to perform given number of crimes by choosing some of the crimes uh, satisfying this condition that the number of criminals are not greater than five and minimum profit that you earn is this okay now for each uh, profitable scheme uh, you need to generate profit at least minimum profit means it, it must be the profit you have generated must be greater than equal to the minimum profit and also the total number of members participating in that subset can be at most end right total number of members or criminals you can say that participate in the uh, subset must not be greater than five clear that is because the the member can if a member participate in one crime that that member cannot participate in another, another crime right so a member participated in only one crime and that's why the total number of members in a subset must not be greater than n okay clear so this might have given you some understanding of what the question tries to tell now look at now let's go through the test cases so here in the first test case, you are given five criminals that you have five, five criminals. You need to earn minimum profit of three. Okay. Now you here you are given two schemes to perform a crime. One scheme require two person and you will earn a profit of two. Another scheme require two person and you will earn a profit of three. There are two ways to perform a crime. Right. Now, uh, let's say uh, you need to find the number of ways by which you can achieve this minimum profit and not using this many greater than this many criminals right so what is one way so let's say if you took only this this scheme 2 comma 3 so this is one crime scheme right so if you perform the crime by using this scheme then you will earn the profit of uh, 3 so that is uh, equal to the minimum profit and you are uh, use only two members right then now 2 is less than equal to 5 so this is one valid scheme right now another way what you can do is if you, you perform this scheme and also you perform this scheme so you perform both the crimes now here what is the total person required four and what is the total profit you earn five now four is less than total number of criminals you have right so you can perform this scheme and five is greater than minimum profit so this is also valid scheme so guys as you can see that there are two valid scheme right and so we return two as our answer correct got it now let's look at this example so here you are given three different scheme uh, that is index zero index one index two now you need to perform a crime such that you earn a minimum profit of five okay so guys uh, if if you can observe the profit that all all the scheme profit are only are, are greater than five right so you can perform all this all these crimes individually because that will earn you a uh, profit of five like this uh, crime time at the zero index that will give you profit of six then the first index will give you profit of seven and the third index will give you profit of it yeah so yeah you can uh, perform all the crime individually then also you can satisfy the minimum profit right now if you uh, perform this crime zero and one so how many person will require it is three plus two five people will require so five is less than ten yeah you so you we can perform this and the overall profit will also be greater than minimum profit if you perform this zero and two zero is index and two second index so total members require five plus two seven seven is less than ten yes correct so yeah 
and the profit is was also greater than minimum profit so it is valid 1 into that is um, 5 plus 3 8 8 is less than 10 so yes we can perform this now 0 1 into this or uh, how many uh, members will be required if you uh, want to perform this scheme it is 5 plus 3 plus 2 so 10 members are equal so it is less than equal to the given number of members right so thus we can perform this so there are total seven valid ways to perform crimes such that it satisfies both the condition of the members as well as the minimum profit right so that's why we written seven here now in the same example in the same example if you have something like this so let's say if you have so instead of 10 if you have 5 assume that n is 5 now how many different possible subsets of crime possible so let me give you index here okay so for this you can perform crime with zero zero index crime that is with two uh, two people and profit of six this is valid you can perform this uh, crime with uh, of the index one that is with three people and seven of profit you can perform the crime at index two that will contain uh, that will require five people so it is it doesn't access the number we have and the total profit is eight now we can also perform zero and one right because the total people required here are, is are five and the profit is seven plus six thirteen right so this five doesn't access the total numbers of criminals that we have but if you try to perform this zero and two then the total members require would be 5 plus 2, 7, right? Uh, and profit is 14. But the 7 members we don't have. So we can't perform this. So furthermore, you cannot perform any of the crimes uh, with a different subset because that will uh, exceed the total number of uh, criminals that you require. Uh, and you have only 5. So it will exceed it in that case. So that's why here we written 4 as our answer because we can only perform 4 different crimes, right? Got it? So yeah, I hope you guys have now some understanding of what in this question that we are trying to do. We are trying to find the different subset or different ways to perform the uh, the given uh, crimes, right? Such that it uh, satisfies the condition of uh, total number of person that we have as well as the profit that we gain should be greater than or equal to minimum profit. Okay, clear? So guys, overall what we are doing, we are just trying to select some of the crimes and such that they satisfy the condition. So what we are doing, we are selecting crimes that satisfy given condition. So we are just trying to select the crimes that satisfy the given condition, right? We are just trying to select the some of the crimes, right? Now, from for this, so what we can see for a crime of the ith index. For that what we have, we have two choices, either to select or not select, right? Now, if uh, if we, we can select that crime, if uh, members is less than n, less than equal to n, if the total members required is less than equal to n, then only we can select the crime, right? As, uh, the, uh, as we won't select it, okay? Clear? So guys, as you can see that uh, there is a choice for each crime we have. Then based on the choices, we can write recursive solution. We can easily write recursive solution because we have choices for each crime that we perform, right? Either to perform that crime in the current subset or not to perform that crime in the current subset, right? So yeah, based on the choices, we can write recursive solution easily. And if you can rec write the recursive solution, then we can further memorize it. Okay, clear till here. So guys, it was a bit difficult part to understand the question. Now, once you understood the question, then the further coding part and approach part is very much simple. That we are simply either selecting the current crime in the current subset or we are not selecting them. So, these two are the simple choices that we have to perform and to get the answer, right? So, based on the choices, we can write the recursive solution and then we can memorize it, okay? Uh, also, you can try to develop the diagram. That is a recursion tree or you can say decision tree diagram. So, let's say you have this... So let me just take this, let's say you have group equals to, let's say two, three, five and profit area equals to six, seven, eight. Now how you will generate the decision tree or you can say recursion tree. So let me name number this. So 
first check for the zeroth index based on the index you have to do uh, not select and select two option here we are checking for the zeroth index right so uh, if you not select this then the current subset is empty if you select this the current subset will have uh, two person and with a profit of six right now take a look at a second uh, at the index one so for the index one also we have two choices right not select and select so if you not select it then the subset is empty if you select it then you have uh, you currently have the three people and seven profits see we can select this because here n equal to five and uh, minimum profit required uh, should be uh, how much it was it was also five yeah so we can select this as number of person is less than five we can select this now from here here also you have two choices right not select and select so if you don't select this then you have only this in the subset if you select this so here we are talking about the index one right index one so if you select index one then how many people will you have in total five people it is is it okay yeah it is okay so one is two comma six and another is three comma seven so total number is five but it is okay right now check for the third index uh, or third crime or that is present at the index two at index two so for from for each state we have again two option not select and select not select that means empty select that means we have only this uh, this crime present in the in the subset right here also we have two choices not select and select so if you not select this a three comma seven is a uh, answer now if you try to select this then whenever we try to select we will check for the condition whether the number of person or members in the current subset exceed the end so here it is 5 plus 2 7 7 exit the end so we won't perform this so this won't be performed okay again not select and select two option so not select will have 2 comma 6 and select when selecting 2 plus 5 2 plus 5 that will exit the end so we won't perform this select operation right and again not select and select so if you not select this then the subset will have this and if you select this then the total number of person will also access so we won't perform so at the end so this is the recursion tree we, uh, we will form right so and then you will check how many of the of the final state have profit greater than five profit greater than five so this is first this is second this is third and this is four so there are four states so guys that's why we written four here right so guys this is how we can perform the visualization of the recursion solution that we are going to write right so this is this was just the visualization by the recursion tree this is the root and from that we have generated different state and at at for and for each node we have two possible state that is not to select and select so the same thing we will write in our code okay so let me explain you now the coding part so in the first i took this dp so now how many different uh, changing states are there in our solution so one changing state is the index or the ith crime right the second changing state is the member selected or the total number of members present in the current subset and the third state is profit the current profit or the profit in the current subset so these three are the changing variables and now if you look at the constraint that this three can have maximum of 100 can be maximum of 100 so that's why we took dp of size 101 101 and this so on so this is 3d dp as we have three changing state okay clear so we initialize this dp with minus one and then we call the solve function now the solve function has some of the parameters let us discuss that so the first parameter is member selected or it contains the total number of members selected in the current subset then this is the current profit or the profit uh, total profit in the current subset index the uh, current current crime that we are checking right the ith crime that we are checking now these are some other variables like n minimum profit group n profit vector so that we uh, that we already received from this now this is our base condition or terminating condition that if index is greater than group dot size then group dot size or you can say uh, there are no more crimes remaining so at that point you will check the current subset profit is it greater than or equal to minimum profit if this condition is satisfied then we will return true or we can say one and the else condition we will return false or you can say zero so if this condition is satisfied we will return one that is true else false okay now we will check uh, this to remove the overlapping uh, sub problems yeah so that's we will check that if the sub problem is already 
calculated and stored in this DP array or not. If it is stored in this DP array, then we will return the answer. Now, as we discussed that we have two choices, not to select and select. So based on that, I code. So if you're not selecting the current crime, then we make no changes in the member selected current profit. We simply increment the index or the ith index, right? Uh, we don't make any changes here. But guys, if you are selecting the current crime, then for that first we have to check whether the total number of uh, members that we have in the current subset plus the in uh, the group of index the ith group or the ith crime require this many number of person so on addition does it uh, satisfy the condition that no uh, total uh, that is less than equal to total members that we have total criminals that you have does this satisfy this condition we check if it is satisfied then what we do we call for this solve function again and add the answer in the inside this select so for that what we do we change this member selected by adding the total number of um, uh, total criminals in the current group right we also change the profit now here what we did is we choose the minimum of minimum profit and current profit plus profit of index then why we did this see guys the minimum profit can be at max 100 right now the, but the current profit can uh, can be see the current profit can grow uh, above can grow above minimum profit right can go above minimum profit but since our dp size has is 101 that means it can store at 100 100 number at max so that's why we choose this condition so that we don't go out of the bound for the for this dp size we choose minimum of minimum profit and current profit plus profit of index see overall if the current profit increases the minimum profit then it is only beneficial right we don't have to maintain that how many it is greater we just want to satisfy that it must be greater than equal to minimum profit that that's the only condition that we have to satisfy so yeah instead of passing the actual profit we will pass the minimum of both then also it is fine we just need to satisfy the condition right then we incremented the index and this uh, other variables would remain the same and at the end before the return i stored the answer inside this dp right clear till here so the coding part is very much simple if you have understood the select and not select part and understood the question right now talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity here would be big of number of um, number of person into uh, the minimum in the, the minimum profit in uh, multiply the index so it would be it would be nothing but 100 into 100 into 100 why this because as you guys can see this this is the size of the dp and we are just trying to fill this dp now in order to fill this dp we have to uh, we have to call the function this many number of times correct so yeah that's why this is the time complexity is this and the space complexity is also obvious that it is 100 into 100 into 100 as you can see and observe the dp also it will take some recursive stack because of this recursion that we are calling but mainly you can say this is the space complexity so yeah guys that's all for this video. If you guys have still any doubts, then do let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.